be caught up with Martin Parnell at Cochrane Coffee Traders as he prepares for week seven of training. Good morning, Martin. How are you today? Yeah, terrific. Thank you. Okay, so we're headed into what for you? Uh, so this is coming seven weeks to go. So uh, yeah, getting closer. And um, yeah, last week was good. 100, 100 kilometers a week. Wow. So what uh, what was the challenges of last week? Uh, well, last week, uh, well, the good news was the weather was much better. So that was kind of great. And I had some people run with me last week, which was really good. Uh, one of them was uh, Dasha Gia Zova. She's a uh, um, Cross country Olympian, so she came out and ran, and now she signed up for the marathon, for the Calgary Marathon, so that was kind of neat. Um, but yeah, it was a good, good week. Uh, yesterday I did 40k, and I'm a bit tired today. So, yeah. And it looks like this week you got some friends with yeah, you. We got some, yeah, we got the gang. This is the uh, Cochrane Red Rock Brothers, and uh, all the all the gang are here. And there's a uh, there's a learn to run uh, clinic for footstock, right, guys? Absolutely. Yeah, how many people you got? We got 48 signed up. 48 signed up for Footscock, uh, 5 and 10K. Wow, that's pretty good. Those are some good numbers. Wow. So uh, where are you guys headed out today? Well, I, I don't know where they're going, but I'm going to go uh, East End. I'm heading down east, all the way down to the railway tracks, and then cross the railway tracks, and there's what we call uh, San Francisco Road. It's that zigzaggy path, and then around uh, Spray Lake Sports Center, and then all the way back to here, 10K. Wow. 10K this morning. Wow. And then uh, you're in a race actually tomorrow, aren't you, Mark? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow is the uh, Glencoe Icebreaker 10K, and the reason I signed up for that is because they've got the best breakfast ever afterwards. Well, you got to go where the food is. So now after this um, week ahead, 100K this week again? Yeah, I get another 100K. Uh, I'm going to do back-to-back -back 30s this coming week. So yeah, the mileage is, uh, I want to maintain 100K now for a few weeks and just try and keep going. And uh, what can you tell me about that fundraising? Uh, you've got your Right to Play shirt on. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we got uh, we got a couple of new donations, which was great. And um, so we're up to $1,180. So if people would donate, that would be uh, that'd be fantastic to support Right to Play. On oh, a bit of other uh, uh, news, uh, Marnie, new shoes. <coughs> Ooh, look at those! They're snazzy. Those yeah, they're brand new. I haven't run in them before. So if we see a crippling around next week, we won't ask. <laughs> you know what's going on? Yeah, looking good. Awesome. Well, okay, Martin. I see your group is getting ready, so we'll uh, we'll let you get going. Great. Thanks, Marnie. See you soon. Martin has seven weeks of training left to prepare himself for the Calgary Marathon where he'll run 150 kilometers all the way to the finish line.